Today we're going to be looking at how you can set up a web application security lab using the damn vulnerable web application in AWS for a free, easy way to understand web application security and enhance your cyber skills. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to Simply Cyber, the YouTube channel designed to help you make and take a cybersecurity career further, faster. My name is Jerry Ozier, and every Monday we're pushing videos that have to do with cybersecurity, the industry, home labs, skills, different jobs. If that's something that's interesting to you, check out the other videos on the channel and maybe hit subscribe. So we're, this video is a continuation of the series of Stefan Wadvogel's um, list of tools that people can use for free to learn both red and blue team type skills. We're working on the red team one and we have done the WebGoat web application security platform, the Juice Shop web application, and each has their you know nuances and flavors that make it interesting and different for different uses and purposes. Today we're doing a twofer. First we're going to be focusing on damn vulnerable web application. That's the bulk of the episode today. But we are going to talk about the Molotai Die 2 one. Uh, you can see it in this flow chart uh, here. So I was going to do a video on each of these, but when I started researching the uh, Molotai 2, I'm probably saying it incorrectly, uh, I found that the group that actually developed this um, platform has their own YouTube channel with tons of videos on how to install it, how to use it, how to learn from it. And I really thought that that would just be kind of redundant and duplicative for me to do it. So I'll link in the show notes below uh, where you can find all of that stuff for the Multidi 2. And, you know, I can't speak to it, uh, whether it's good or bad or not, but definitely check it out. It looks like the people that developed that have done a lot of hard work in making it um, accessible and good. So today, we are going to be looking at building out the damn vulnerable web application. We're going to be building it out in AWS, which is, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I work in AWS for my home labs uh, because it's free. Uh, you can spin it up, spin it down. It doesn't cost anything as far as like resources and financial, right? So um, on Juice Shop and WebGoat, we use Docker pulls. We're going to use Docker today, but I couldn't get it as smooth and seamless and silky as uh, the other two uh, in the video series. So we are actually going to have to secure shell into the box and uh, build it, uh, pull, do the Docker pull and everything. So, But I will be showing you step by step how to do it. Now, why would, why would you want damn vulnerable web application over the other ones? Well, this one is a really well-known classic one. And what makes it interesting is you can actually kind of change the level of hardness, hardening on the, uh, the, the web application server itself. Again, you're installing a very vulnerable web application. It allows you to execute you know, operating system level commands at the OS uh, underneath the web app. So definitely be careful with how you deploy this. And I'll show you when we roll out the AWS instance how you can make it so only your IP address uh, can access it. So uh, just a little shout out. Uh, we're, we're recognizing Network Chuck, another great information security YouTuber here on YouTube. Uh, definitely check out uh, his channel because he's got a lot of great content. Okay. and. By the way, as I mentioned, this video is part of a series. So if you're interested in this, uh, check out the playlist that's associated with this uh, Stefan Waldvogel's uh, list of different resources because I'm basically making them all. But let's hop behind the computer, build out our AWS instance, get damn uh, vulnerable web application up and get going. Okay, let's go. Hey, all right, so we're logged into our AWS instance right now and if you need help registering for AWS or setting up your billing parameters, uh, check the show description below. I've put some comments in. I, I watched a video myself on Free Code Camp on how to set the parameters and I've never had an issue. I've never had to pay anything. So we're in our AWS. We're going to go to services, EC2. We're in here. We're going to launch an instance. and We're just going to do our basic Amazon Linux 2, the very first one that they give you. Go ahead, make sure you pick that free tier eligible so you don't have to pay anything. Now, normally, if you've been following the channel on the web goat and the juice shop, we would put our language down here in the user data section. That didn't work with the damn vulnerable web app. So we're going to do it um, 
a different way, a little bit more involved, but you know, it's nice to get your hands dirty. Make sure your SSH is open. If you want to um, change it to my IP just to make it a little bit more secure, that's fine. I'm not gonna do it for the demonstration. And go ahead and add HTTP port 80. And go ahead and do my IP if you wanna keep it super secure, which I strongly encourage. Or I'm gonna leave it like this for the demo because I'm gonna destroy this um, right after I'm done recording. So let's review and launch. Now, if you haven't done this before, Go ahead and create a new key pair, save that key off. It'll be a file, a PEM file. You're gonna use chmod to change the permissions on that um, file. Uh, but just, you know, if you, if you basically <laughs> either create a, a new key pair or choose an existing one, if you uh, have been following the show and you've been working through the labs, you already have a key pair. If not, create one and make sure that you set the permissions accordingly so you can log in, because that's what we're gonna have to do. I'm gonna use my Simply Cyber Official key. Hit acknowledge, and I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. Okay, so as Amazon builds it up, I'm gonna name this. Damn vulnerable web app, simply cyber demo. Okay. We've already got our public IP v4 DNS um, URL basically defined. So let's go ahead and uh, you can see that I've already got um, this is the directory that has my. Uh, .pem file, and again, you'll notice the permissions over here that they're set appropriately. Basically, uh, Amazon won't let you log in to your box unless you have the permissions set correctly. <clears throat> so let us do ssh-i, the key, ec2-user, at, and then uh, paste the URL. We're gonna hit yes. And now it's waiting as the server's being built right now. And there we go, we're logged in. Who am I? Probably EC2, perfect. Okay, so we're in our box now. Now, normally, um, you would be able to just do this uh, through that command, but because it didn't work, we're gonna do it this way. So do yum update dash y and i'm going to put this in the description below so just check that out but follow me uh follow along with me oh you have to do sudo yum update dash y i i was doing this earlier you could probably uh uh super user into root but i don't know what the root account is and i didn't bother googling it because sudo is going to work just fine so i'm going to speed the video up here we're going to run yum install dash y docker to install the docker application again with sudo because i keep forgetting now we're going to actually start the docker service <laughs> with sudo don't forget the sudo We're gonna do docker run, tac tac rm, tac tac it, tac p, 80, 80, vulnerable, slash web, damn vulnerable web application. Okay, I don't know what it, I must have typed it wrong, but now we're running it. Oh, I did vulnerable, not vulnerables. Okay, let's fast forward. All right, there we go. So now we are logged in. I simply took the uh, IPv4 um, domain name, DNS, after doing all of that, uh, the Docker install stuff and, and uh, running it. And here we are, we're presented with the interface to the damn vulnerable web application. Now, 
I told you before, I'll tell you again, this is an incredibly vulnerable web app that will allow you to do a lot of bad stuff. So you definitely want this either shut down when you're not using it or constrained to only your IP address. Now admin and password are the default credentials. When you get in here, you're gonna wanna do the create reset database right off the rip, okay? And please log in. That just kind of gets everything right and fresh. It's still admin and password, password. There we go. We're open. So now we are in the damn vulnerable web app. Now, this is a great platform. Again, it allows you to really learn the different kind of um, web application type vulnerabilities and how the attacks are. You can see we got Crest site scripting, both uh, DOMs and reflected. We've got SQL injection. We have CAPTCHA, which I'm not even uh, sure of insecure CAPTCHA. I haven't done that myself. Uh, command injection, which is great. Now, I'll just stop for a second and say, um, you know, there's some administrative stuff. There's the setup, right? They give you some instructions on how you can follow it, which is very nice. The DVWA security tab, I want you to be aware of that because this is basically um, <laughs> kind of like a very, very easy way to harden or soften your target, right? So I recommend that you start it low and kind of work through it. They give you a description here on what the different levels are, uh, which is very cool. Uh, the PHP IDS uh, is enabled, I'm, uh, or you can enable it. I don't have experience with that, so I can't speak to it, but it is a cool feature. Again, this is a platform, you know, WebGo, Juice Shop, Damn Vulnerable Web Application, they're all similar in that they're web apps that you're supposed to attack, but they all have their own kind of um, pros and cons and approaches to um, the, the, the issue. So I'm really enjoying Damn Vulnerable Web Application. Now, I'll just say that you know, just to give you an example, we'll do this, ping a device. So I'll do 127.0, uh, right? This is local host, right? Submit. Here we go. We're going to ping it. It offers us the ability. This makes sense. If you've ever pinged from a machine, like this is exactly what it looks like. So now let's see if it's open to um, command injection. So we'll say ls-al, ls-al. Okay, it returns nothing. Now let's kind of combine the two. I've already done it here as testing. So we do the IP address and do a semicolon to terminate the command. Then we issue a new command, ls-al. And there you go. You can see already that this is a major vulnerability, right? So this is the uh, output of the ping command and then it ran my ls list directory contents um, Linux command. So this is this is not good. I'm, I'm basically executing commands at the operating system level. I don't know what the permission level is that's executing under, but the very next thing that I would attempt to do is create a user account and start to set it up so I could then remote in uh, over secure shell and start uh, controlling it at the operating system level. So immediate circumvention. Anyways, the point is, this is very cool now. They do give you some more information for this particular exercise, and you can see that they do it for the other ones as well. So you can kind of learn the concepts, learn the topic, etc. Uh, I don't, I didn't enjoy seeing the Scrib D one because that is, uh, I guess, a paid service. I clicked on it and said I could register for 30 days of access. Uh, but these right here, these are not, OWASP is basically the go-to um uh, nonprofit, like ground zero resource for information around web application security. Um, so I love that they reference that. So you can use this platform a to like practice and again, learn how to execute attacks and then what the attacks can look like and really give yourself perspective on like, what's the, uh, scope and breadth of what an attack can do. Like, Web application and I'm executing operating system commands, that is really not a good idea, right? Like that's definitely not the intention of whoever designed the web application. So definitely cool, definitely worth checking out. I also wanna um, share that there is a um, damn vulnerable web application walkthroughs. I, I did some research uh, and I found, I think it was this one, right? Computersecuritystudent.com and I'll link to this in my show notes. 
they actually walk through all of these and they have it built. Uh, I, I also teach on the side and they have this built like a lab that you would get in a regular kind of higher ed curriculum with uh, lecture and, and lab associated. And I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to represent it. Um, I do want to tell you that this is not the same as building it in AWS. Like the computer security student builds it in a uh, Fedora Unix instance, which you don't need to understand. All you need to do is that you're not going to see all the Amazon stuff. Just jump down to the part where they're actually doing the lab, right? Like, boom. Oh, this is the same one, right? This is the same lab I just did, except they did a cat on the password, right? And you can see um, what the lesson is and work through it yourself. So it's like basically having a free teacher uh, walk you through with lab notes. So hopefully you enjoy it. And, you know, basically this is damn vulnerable web application. It took all of about five minutes to build, okay? So give it a shot. It's absolutely free. You only have um, learning you know, at worst, you learn something. So I think that that's a pretty good worst case scenario. All right, that was great. Hopefully, uh, you got it up and running. And you know, you're you're on your way to learning those skills that you would need uh, to be either a web application pen tester, or to, you know, help sell yourself uh, on your knowledge in an interview for a blue team role. But now it's time for our one cool thing. So this week's one cool thing is Kids Against Maturity. So this is from the same people who make People Against Humanity, um, or People Against Humanity, uh, whatever whatever that game is that people have with the cards and you, you pick funny things. Anyways, long story short, I have little kids. You can't play uh, uh, Cards Against Humanity um, with little kids, right, obviously. So we got Kids Against Maturity, especially in this COVID era, and the card games are funny. It's like a lot of the words like poop and fart and you know the words that make kids just crack up. Uh, we got it, we've been playing it, and it's been a lot of fun. So if you got kids and you're looking for an activity to do, uh, I definitely recommend checking it out, okay? So thanks for uh, dropping in. Be sure to hit subscribe, like if you enjoyed the video, tell a friend, and uh, until next week, stay secure.